DeepSeek recently took the world by storm as it is a much smaller model which performs better than ChatGPT, in particular for tasks that require reasoning. But how is it that DeepSeek can reason so well? Let me break it down to you using a chess analogy. There are two ways to train a model to play chess and let's call them the ChatGPT way and the DeepSeek way. The ChatGPT way would use supervised learning, meaning it gets a lot of chess experts to play a lot of games, and then it feeds all these games into a neural network that then learns to play chess really well. This is a good way, but it's expensive, and it also restricts the model, as it can only become as good as the chess players that created the training set. The DeepSeek way, on the other hand, uses reinforcement learning. It clones the model and then makes it play against itself until it learns to play really well. This way has lots of advantages, as it has no limits to how good it becomes, and it may even find new techniques that humans haven't yet figured out. Also, it doesn't require the human work of building a huge training dataset. This is how ChatGPT and DeepSeek solve logical problems. So for example, the way ChatGPT learns to solve math problems is to get lots of smart people to input solutions to math problems, and then uses this to train a huge neural network. DeepSeek, on the other hand, clones itself and one copy is used to solve the problems and the other copy is used to evaluate and grade them. This way, the neural network learns to solve them in a logical and sequential way and in a much, much cheaper manner. So now you know, this is one of the reasons DeepSeek is so good at reasoning and also so cheap to train. Because as you know, 